Hey, what's up? I'm Max, I'm from Winning Team. And if you're a DJ producer going to Amsterdam the third week in October, this is the perfect video for you. If not, just kick back and relax and maybe you'll just buy your tickets to Amsterdam dance event. Roll the intro! One, two, three, let's go! So, what is ADE? It just happens to be the biggest get-together of dance music on this globe. It has all the DJs, producers, promoters, club owners, ANRs, um, fans, everybody. And they all have something in common, the pure love for dance music. The Amsterdam Dance Event is a five-day conference held every year. All, all day full program with seminars and you can't forget about all the nighttime activities with the festivals. There is over 350,000 attendees coming to the city from all over the world. For us it will be the fourth time attending and for a really good reason. With all the contacts you get there and possibly even deals but the biggest reason is the huge motivational boost you get from the city with electronic dance music running through its veins. But what should you do to get the most out of your week at ADE? Let's cut the small talk and jump straight in. Number one, book your flights and hotels in time. With all these people coming to town, at some point the beds will run out. We've always tried to find a hotel that is really close to the main conference area at Delamage Theatre. Uh, you'll save a lot of time and money by not having to travel every day to the conference. The museum district is a really good area, but there is a lot of good hotels in the centrum. Number two, buy your conference pass. There is two ticket types available. The AD conference pass that is for four days. With this you'll get access to all the meeting areas, network working hubs and all the ADE areas and most importantly the delegate database. More on that later. This ticket will cost you around 300 euros. And the full ADE pass uh, includes everything the conference pass has, but it also gives you access to all the clubs and festivals in town for this week. It will cost you around 150 euros extra, so 450. So basically, you'll get into every club and party during the week if they have space. A good thing to remember. The first time we bought the full ADE pass, the full experience, but after that we just bought the conference pass and bought the tickets to those parties and clubs we really wanted to go to guarantee us to get in. Uh, if you're here for the business it's good to be fresh in the mornings, but if you're here for just pure love for music and you want to dance, go crazy. Number three, the Delegate Database. If you have purchased the ADE ticket, you'll get access to the Delegate Database. It's a database with all the individuals and companies going to ADE that you'll access on my ADE on the ADE website. Yeah. Uh, on this site, you should spend some time researching all the people, individuals and companies going to ADE. Uh, research, take a look and see who you want to meet up with who you want to do something with. Send them a message to try to meet up. If you really want to make this trip worthwhile, you should uh, try to book up meetings from 9 to 5, fill up your whole day to meet as much people as possible. And you might think that what should I send them? How, what, how, how should I approach them? Be brief. Tell them who you are. Tell them what you've done. Send them some new music and good thing is to tell them why you want to meet up with them, what you want to do together. Number four, be available and prepared. Make sure your phone is on and check with your mobile service provider that your phone will work in the Netherlands. Um, if not, some places the venues have Wi-Fi, but it's really good to make sure that people can connect with you uh, via WhatsApp or call or in other ways 
and make sure your phone is always charged, kind of obvious. And be professional, it's really good to carry some kind of business card. Uh, it doesn't have to be super flashy, but it's good to have the key elements, your, your email address, uh, some kind of website and some links. Hand them out to those people that are really important for you. And if you really want to be prepared, you should do some USB sticks with your music and uh, maybe some more information that you can hand out on the street. And make an EPK, an electronic press kit. It doesn't need to be super flash either. A symbol is good enough. One page PDF is enough. Have your details, your informations about uh, your releases, what clubs have you played, the streaming numbers, the labels. Tell them in a short package that who you are as an artist. And during the week, there is just a lot of hanging out. On the streets of Amsterdam, you'll see some of the biggest names in the industry. If you want to talk with them, be brave and go and say hi. But make sure you're not interrupting something. You have to be sure that it's a good time to talk. If you see an artist you want to just say hi to or possibly work with, go up to them, say hi, introduce yourself, give your card, maybe some music and maybe miracles will happen. Number five, open your eyes. Uh, not everything in town for this week is linked to ADE, officially. There's a lot of companies and labels hosting their own mini seminars, like Reveal Recordings and Spinning Records. They both have their own uh, master classes, demo drops, sessions, gear labs, whatever. Like one year, uh, Wall Recordings hosted a demo drop they just announced on their Instagram story. Just a few people noticed it, so we rushed, rushed there with an Uber and it was in the middle of a hotel lobby. The hotel did not know about this demo drop, but it was, it was fun. And during the week you'll see a lot of yellow ADE logos around the city. Follow them and you might see some really cool hideouts, some cafes some gear labs, um, special things, you might meet secret people. Just open your eyes and look for all the yellow stuff. Number six, how to survive in Amsterdam. Watch out for the... Miks sulla on kirves? Number six, how to survive in Amsterdam. Watch out for the bikes, period. There is a lot of bikes and the bikes are really crazy! When crossing the street, take some time to post both ways, be safe and careful because some of these bikes may kill you. And hey, wear, wear comfortable shoes. There is a lot of cobblestone roads and you might dance for hours. So comfortable shoes during ADE is a must. Sneakers is always a good choice. And you might think what to wear to ADE. The official dress code is black on black. It's like the unspoken color of AD or dance music industry. And during this week, a hint of yellow is okay. Nothing else. Really, nothing else. Forget it. Forget red, white. No, no. Stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. The number one tip that sick individuals gave us a few years ago was to drink a lot of water with all the alcohol you're gonna consume during the week. No, kidding aside, drink lots of water, you're gonna walk for miles, you're gonna have really long days with not much eating, so drink water, it's gonna save you. Oh yeah, and I forgot that the tap water in Amsterdam, it's really safe, so you can buy a reusable bottle and fill it up. And always with clubs and dance music, protect your ears. A few years ago, we took ear molds in Amsterdam during dance event and uh, got our custom earplugs. It was the best choice ever, using them like every gig after that. And when out, it's really good to have them because you'll be fresh in the morning. Remember to recharge. It's a long week, you'll have meetings all the days and uh, from 9 to 5 and then you go clubbing all the day but if you have business meetings in the morning you need to sleep and take a good rest because it's a long week and I probably said that a few times already but it's a long week so sleep and rest when you have the possibility.
But if you're also in town for the parties, then you'll have some time for the parties. Our tip for that is to pick the absolute best party for the last night. Uh, we have been at the reveal party every Saturday now for two years, three years, how, how many years? A few years. A few years. And we always fly home on Sunday. It's really fun. You go crazy with the best music for that evening. If you like, like house, techno, hardstyle, whatever, you'll find the best parties for each genre. And party on the last night like it's the last night of your life. Patrick did. Number seven, follow up. Like Chris Willis told us a few, year, few years ago, the biggest deals are not made during the week. They are made after the festival. So gather all the info and the contacts during the week. Uh, make some kind of Excel or spreadsheet of who you met and who you're gonna follow up with. What have you talked about? And send them a message after the festival that, hey, it was nice meeting you. We talked about this. Here is the music you listen to. Any thoughts on it? What should we do? Make the deals after the festival. Hopefully this little guy will help you through your possibly first ever ADE. The event is amazing, it's a huge week for us every year. But remember that you're not gonna be a Martin Garrix in one night. This will be a huge step forward for your career on the business side. You're gonna meet so much people, you're gonna experience so much dance music related stuff. But be prepared. Know why you're going to ADE and know what you want to do there. I gather all the info, it will make you a better artist. Hopefully this helped you. If you liked it, smash the like button and subscribe for more of these videos. See you in Amsterdam, we'll be there. Cool ADE logo. Can we afford animation? No, 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 no. oh my god, it will take weeks to do that. <laughs>